Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Barchi, Gentle Guide. This is, I believe, the fourth video in the series about how to find your purpose slash calling in which we will discuss the importance of lifestyle. If you are one of these people who is struggling to find your life purpose or passion or however you want to call it, please do check my previous videos on this topic. So in the first one, I talked about how to discern between our authentic wishes and the ones we were conditioned to believe that are ours. And every time we start building the foundation, we need to make space for it. So check out that video if you haven't already. And the second video is about our values, which are really important if you want to explore anything in regards to your career, passion, or life in general. Please don't skip this one. And the last one in the series is on needs. And honestly, I find them all very valuable. I wouldn't be saying if I didn't mean it. So yeah, I hope that I'm not coming across as super forceful, but my intention for you is really to get you excited about this and also to explore and use all the tools that you have at your disposal because they're actually really helpful and designed to help you. And if you are a human design fan, you can also check the video that I made on how motivation can help you figure out what you want to or how you want to channel your passion. What you'll get in this video is I will explain the gist of the lifestyle concept and we'll do an exercise that I've broken down into two parts. Then we'll finish it off with a short meditation and you'll have all the timestamps in the description box or the comment section down below. All right, a lifestyle. So the topic that I'll be discussing comes from Marianne Cantwell, who wrote a book, Be a Free Range Human, Escape 9 to 5, Create a Life You Love and Still Pay the Bills. And I'll put a link to her book down below, so in case you want to read it. She introduced the idea that I find really valuable. She talks about the importance of building our lives around the lifestyle that we want to live. And why is that important? Because if you have a passion for a certain field, based on the lifestyle that you would like to lead, it can man manifest in many different ways. For the most part, you are probably free to decide whether you want to work in person, online, in group settings, one-on-one, -on -one, and so on. For example, maybe you love languages. There are so many ways one can channel that passion into career. Unless you're a dentist, then it's kind of hard to work online <laughs> or have night shifts with that one. But maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments. Okay, let's do some exercises now. If you're like me, I sometimes struggle to do an exercise. But here's the thing. If we don't do anything about what we want, chances are not much will change. And I'm not here to force you into anything. If you're watching this video, you have self-agency to make responsible decisions. I honestly believe that. So if you really want to change, you'll do something about it. Not because I said so, but because you care and choose to do that for yourself. All right, so I'm inviting you to grab a pen and a piece of paper and draw a vertical line in the middle or just use two sheets. And on one side, write weekday or weekdays. And on the other side, weekend or days off. Now, let's focus on the weekdays first. A day has 24 hours. 
on your piece of paper, write down the numbers from 1 to 24 and block the hours that are reserved for sleep first. Please make sure that we are talking about at least seven hours per night because it is scientifically proven that people on average need that amount of time to sleep or amount of time of sleep to be healthy. And let's not argue with that, okay? All right. And before you go any further, make sure you write everything in the present tense. Imagine having the freedom to create whatever schedule you desire. Write down when you want to wake up, what your preferred activities are, and carve out time for breakfast, lunch, dinner, exercise for your hobbies, your friends, your loved one, and obviously for your work. You might discover that actually you love working from nine to five, or perhaps you would prefer to have a more flexible schedule, or maybe your dream is to work part-time. When you're putting in these activities on your list, you might also want to think about the location of your work. So do you want to work from home? Do you wish to have an office? And write it down, maybe somewhere on the side, perhaps. And do incorporate that in your schedule. And if you know what kind of work you would like to do, by all means, write it down. However, it's totally okay if you don't have things figured out just yet. It might take a while for you to be really happy with your list. So give yourself some time and please don't try to make it perfect, okay? Consider it a first draft. It is not set in stone. You can always move things around and adjust everything that you desire. An important thing, allow yourself to create what you want, however realistic or unrealistic it may seem to you. It is really important that things that you write are in alignment with your needs and especially with your values. Otherwise, they won't bring you fulfillment. It's really that simple. And if you don't know what they are, go back and watch video, the last two videos. And another reminder, make sure you write everything in the present tense. I know I'm repeating myself, but it's really important. Now, I would like you to do the same thing for weekends or your days off, because perhaps you want to have free time during the week and work during the weekends. Whatever the case is, write down how you want to spend those days, whether with your family, solo, traveling, hiking, attending cultural events, you name it. And take your time to think about what excites you, what brings you joy. And most importantly, as I've mentioned before, make sure that those activities that you love are aligned with your values. And sorry, not sorry, that I'm repeating myself. (laughs) But those are important things. So it's always great to hear certain things again and again. And I'm telling that to myself, most of all. I also want to emphasize that in an unfortunate event, that at this moment, you can't possibly see how this might even come to fruition or you know, how this can be possible for you, or you don't believe that you can have a lifestyle that you desire, please don't throw your wishes under the bus, but rather find yourself some support first. For now, at least allow yourself to have those desires, okay? Just allow yourself. If you kill your dreams before they have a chance to germinate, What I've seen in people is that they have become resentful, unhappy, and bitter over time. So take care of your precious heart 
and its desires or wishes, even if only in your imagination for now. Now that you have your list somewhat ready, or even if it's not fully complete, that's okay. Let's do a quick check-in with your body to see what it feels like. Let's do a short meditation, and if you're driving or doing something that needs your full attention, obviously don't do that now and come back to this exercise another time. It will be here for you, waiting. (laughs) All right. I'm inviting you to close your eyes if that feels comfortable. Otherwise, just keep them open. Take a few deep breaths and allow your body to fully lean on the support of your chair or whatever surface you're sitting on. Feel the floor underneath your feet and just relax. Scan your body slowly from head to toe and just release any pressure that you might still be holding inside. Now transport yourself to a day of your life that you were just writing about and notice how it feels. Imagine waking up in the morning and starting to engage yourself with the things that you wanted to do. Imagine and sense how everything looks or feels like. Allow yourself to go through your day. From the time you wake up till the time you go to sleep. And notice all the feelings when immersed in the activities that you choose. Just be present. And if something new pops up for you, just engage into that activity too. At some point, your day has finished and you might feel ready to sign off for the day. And I'm inviting you to come back to this time and place and gently move your body and open your eyes whenever you're ready. And now that experience is still fresh in your mind, do a quick check-in. Notice what it is that you love in your day the most. Mm -hmm. 
what feelings were present when you did that. And I invite you to write all those things down. And how can you do more of what makes you feel this way? And know that when we imagine something very vividly, our brain can actually tell imagination from reality. Isn't that super fascinating? I definitely find it so. And you are already watering your garden of ideas or putting some energy into it. And I just love that. Next time, we'll speak about connection with your feelings which is a really powerful topic. And thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what was the best part of your day. Thank you so much also for gently pushing the subscribe or like buttons. I really appreciate you. See you next time. Bye-bye.